the old computer and see what kind of shape it's actually in. It's a Prius, North America, 2010. We're waiting for it to scan. You can see it's relatively utilitarian car. No real fancy bells and whistles, but it's comfy enough. My machine's checking and showing what we're checking here. These things have a lot of feedback in them. If you're into electronics, you can spend your lifetime analyzing what's happening in this car. And look, everything passes. Everything. Except the navigation system. Okay, let's look at the navigation system. And it says people have disconnected the USB box. Kind of meaningless stuff. Somebody might have never reset it, so we'll erase the codes. Somebody probably forgot to reset it. Look at live data here. Started looking through for any odd stuff. Now the long-term fuel trim is 2.34, meaning it's running a little lean. It has for for that anyway. The engine's in perfect shape. All the cylinders have the same speed. 51, 199, right down. Not even off by a tiny bit. They're all exactly the same. We'll look at the hybrid control, too, since it's a hybrid car. Now, the state of charge is 58.4%. This vehicle has 224,000 miles on it. Hybrid information on this. Look at this. Here we go. We're still going. There's a heck of a lot of hybrid information. These are very complex vehicles. That's the one real problem of them is. When it comes to the hybrid systems, your code is zero. So this hybrid system has not had a problem in 224,000 miles. So you got to say, it's pretty good quality. So here we go. We'll take the parking brake off and check it out. It's electronic, but it's an old one. Look.